fear you may have forgotten me, but I am Aesop. And I bring you a fable from the future. The ancients believed that the world was made of earth, air, fire, and water, but to the new ancients, the universe is but a quantum fluctuation in an 11-dimensional sea of virtual particles built of unseeable, untouchable, untastable strings. Well, it's different. I only know how much I miss the taste of the air and the feel of the damp earth. And yet here we are tonight, and we are no different than those who came before us or those who will come after. If there is a moral to our tale, it is this. The theories may change, but the stories stay the same.
He's on his way. Quantum mechanic. Oh, thank you for coming over so quickly. What a disaster. Please come in. Thank you, ma'am. Here's my card. It's so beautiful. It sparkles. And there's your phone number. Now wait. It's your address. Wait, it's your phone number. Now wait. I'm a graduate of the Heisenberg Institute. Apparently. If you have any pets, could you confine them while I work? Do you have a dog? No, but we have a cat. That Mr. Schrodinger keeps in the box. Isn't that hard on the cat? I don't know. I'm afraid to look. Well, well, let's get started. You said your freezer is broken. My cold souffle has melted away. The engineer with whom I've spoken said to check the dark matter array. It's just behind the crisper, not far below the hypercube tray. I promise not a whisper, I'll stay right here, out of your way. Cosmos, matter, time, and space. Who are you, Aesop? 
hype the Revenge Horizon. No, that would completely destroy your universe. We no longer have a voice if you don't sacrifice my universe to tear the continuum of the Shrine. Big bang and surprise! 